Center for. And then we made this when we I brought it over to Carrie's the other day, and then her cat like promptly finds it and makes it all. Oh. So cute. <laughs> Okay, basically, using craft supplies, um, you're going to be making camouflage critters that fit into this diorama. And, um, and when they get all done, they are going to try to find each other's camo critters. So we took a hand at it. Um, we made a few little critters the other day. You don't have a huge budget, and this stuff is really expensive, like these balls and stuff like that. And um, we don't want to run out too soon. So really limit the amount of supplies that you have out on the table so they don't use too many. But like, here's our uh, knack at that one kind of eye that had the eyes on it or whatever. <laughs> that would be Amy's friend. Yes, yes, that's, that's, that's what I got. Okay, and then um, here's like a little tiger guy. So this would be like warning color. So anyway, we have, we have this chart and this one as well that we were passing around earlier. So you might want to go through before you get started and then have them kind of decide, are they going to make something that's going to blend in or are they going to make something that's going to stand out? You can see it right away for warning coloration or poisonous or whatever. So they should kind of have an idea in mind of what kind of critter they're going to want to make and then based on this poster. And then like, here's like some crazy feathered, brightly colored guy. Here's a cute little, we have like all kinds of crafts in here. Um, what's this guy, Kara? Uh, my kids made that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they can be like as free form as you want. <laughs> they do not have to be like actual animals. They can be like kind of whatever they make. Um, here's a cute little guy with little legs and some eyes. I don't know. Just the limit. So anyway, you want I don't know. I don't think you guys had too much fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you just like, you can obviously tell which ones are camo. Mm -hmm. So, and I probably going to cut these in here. Then, finally, if you have extra time at the end, which you may or may not, this is called dots and stripes. It's not labeled, but it'll be in the bin. And basically, the kids can start coloring this. There's, I don't know how many animals in here. Eight. Yep. And then we have like, how about, how about uh, where is that? I hate it. Does it make they just take it home with them? Maybe? Yes. Okay. So that's there's that's a take home thing for Friday Boulder if you want, as long as they put their name on it and put elf. And then like, <laughs> here is the a sample of the finished one. I so only made this many. That'll probably get us through the first four classes or something if everybody wanted them. I have the master in the bin, and if you want to go run more copies, it just shows what size to blow it up to, and it shows the copy code for the teacher's lounge. 